Hi guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I am Zoe and today we've got a very special guest with us, one of my favorite cake decorators of all time. I'm really pleased to introduce you to Carla Pudge. Hi. So Carla's been with us the last three days teaching and I thought while she's here, I'd grab her to help me make something for you guys on YouTube. And Carla loves Pusheen. Yes. I love Hello Kitty and we thought what better to do than the Hello Kitty Pusheen collab, but in cake. If you guys would like to check out Carla's amazing work, then you can find it across Facebook and Instagram. Carla, where will they find you? Uh, so you can uh, find my pages with uh, Carla Butch Sugar Atelier. And I'm going to put the links below for you in case you're not sure how that's all spelled. Um, <laughs> because if like me, I'm really bad with accents. <laughs> so we're going to put that, those links below the video for you guys as well. Eh, espero que os guste mucho este video. Nos lo hemos pasado súper bien grabándolo y que lo disfrutéis mucho. And I need to learn Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting with some eight-inch vanilla sponge cakes. I bought them ready baked, guys. I know it's really bad. I keep cheating, and I printed off a template of what I wanted to make. So I printed off a picture of the Hello Kitty machine, and I'm gonna put it on greaseproof paper just so I can cut it out, and then it's easier to place it on the cake and cut around. So I'm starting with the head and we're just cutting down to create a bit of an oval shape. And I'm gonna remove a little bit off the bottom and then we're cutting it into layers and we're gonna stack it onto our cake frame that we've made. Now you've probably seen me make these kinds of frames in quite a few of the videos, guys. It just helps support all the cake. So we're stacking it up. We're just gonna double check that the head still fits about right because <laughs> even though I cut it to the size of my template, it still doesn't always match. And then we're gonna just carve it. Now you can do it with just one person, it doesn't have to be a two person job, but if you have got an extra pair of hands to help you, then absolutely brilliant. So we're just adding some modeling chocolate to underneath the head part, just to make it a little bit more rounded. Okay, so now we are gonna cover in ganache. And then we're gonna scrape it. So you want a flexible smoother to scrape easily around the curved shapes. Then we're gonna use some six inch cakes for our body. And again, I'm just using the template that I made earlier to cut out the shape. And I'm gonna stack them upwards. I just thought it would be easier, but you can stack them the other way around, that's fine. And then we're gonna carve it to a little bit more of the shape of the body of the Hello Kitty dressed as Pusheen. I'm gonna cover it all in ganache. So if you struggle to get a smooth surface with the ganache, Carla had a great tip of just smoothing over it with your finger, but a little bit of water on there as well. So wet your finger and smooth over the ganache. Then we're gonna cover the whole thing in a mix of gray fondant mixed with Sculptura paste, which is a bit like modeling chocolate. So you could use modeling chocolate and fondant together. Then I'm gonna work on the smaller pieces like the tail while Carla's covering the main bulk of the cake. Also gonna make the pink bow. So I'm just using fondant for the bow, but if you find it's a bit soft, you could swap for modeling chocolate or modeling paste. The modeling chocolate always tastes a bit nicer in my opinion than just using fondant. So you can see I'm looking at that template all the time to help me with where things should go and the size of things, the shape of things. So the tail is the modeling chocolate. Again, I've, I've dyed it to like a gray color, a dark gray, because it will set firm enough for the tail. And then we're gonna just use white fondant to cover the face area. So we want an oval of that. I'm gonna try and stick it on. There we go, just trim off any extra bits when it's in place. Just be careful you don't press so hard that it goes through the uh, ganache. Then we're gonna make the ears. Again, you can use the template to help cut out this, the ears so you've got the right size and shape. Also gonna make the hands using the template, just molding it around that. And Carla's extruding out some black fondant for us. So she's just using the extruder and she's putting that around the edges of the tail. Again, it makes it look a bit more cartoon-like. You'll have seen us do this on the cartoon slash comic cake that we put on to our YouTube channel the other week. And I'm just using that tubing to go around the edge of the bow as well. So I'm just following the image that I had for this, for whereabouts the black bit should go. So the ears, guys, you might find they don't stay on of their own accord at first. So just pin them in with some cocktail sticks till they have time to set in place. We've put those on before we cover the head itself and we're gonna do it in two halves. So like the front and then the back. 
we will get a seam down the side of the body but because we're going to cover it in this black sort of piping detail around the edge that seam should be covered up so I'm not too worried about the fact that we've got this seam going halfway around and then we're just trimming off any extra at the front so be careful when you're trimming around this face bit Now to get the paste to stick, you can either use water or you can use piping gel and that will help it stick. Just make sure you do remove your cocktail sticks before you put the back of the head coverage on. You have to sometimes trim the extra bits off with scissors just because it's so heavy that it wants to kind of pull it back off if you're not careful. Then we're gonna add the small details like the eyes and the nose. Now. I just used fondant for these small details, but like I say, apart from the tail, which was modeling chocolate, if you do need them to be firmer, swap for modeling chocolate or modeling paste. And then let's roll some thin bits of darker gray for the stripes on the Pusheen's head. We'll just put a black line around the edge of the arms as well. So this is the bit that, that does end up a little bit time consuming is rolling out all these pieces of black. So you can do it with the extruder or you can do it by hand as well. But just be careful when you're adding it around sort of your edges that they need to go on. They can actually hide a lot of the seams and just any untidy bits you've got on there. So they were, they were good for that. So we're putting one set of whiskers on flat next to the eyes and I'm just following what the picture looks like for this guys. It has like a second set so I presume the second set are actually Hello Kitties, the first set were the Pusheen set and these ones for them to stick out I had to put them onto cocktail sticks and carefully push them in. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you so much for watching and I know I should learn to speak Spanish so... Si os ha gustado el video, dadle a like y suscribiros al canal. See you next time guys. Bye. A big thank you to Carla for coming and helping with this cake and do check out her work, it's incredible.